Yes, still watching ways. The UN General Assembly has declared November 18 as the World Day for the Prevention of and Healing from Child Sexual Exploitation, Abuse and Violence. The New World Day is aimed at bringing global visibility to the trauma of child sexual abuse with the hope that governments will take action to fight it. According to the World Health Organization, the WHO, millions of children experience sexual violence each year. This is so sad. And I think it's an important day actually for Nigeria. Yes. Because this is happening a lot here. Did you see a lot the trending of defilement video? happening? Doctor the doctor. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, I mean, considering in his it's, own case, even it's that. It's worrying. It was a few I mean, months. Was it a few months I'm now? I've had to interview him like twice or three times. So. Yes. And apparently, he had done that in the UK. And yeah. then he sees his license. From the story we're hearing. Yeah. yeah. And then he opened the Optimal Cancer Center. Oh. Mm. And, and then a few months ago, the whole thing with his niece, I believe it was, yeah. happened. Yes. And still nothing to have the opportunity for this video that is now making the rounds yeah. to happen. Yeah, so again. I think that's why they are bringing the video back oh. so that um, people in charge can really take it up and do the right thing. Um, I really hope that just I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Too many sad stories. Too many, too many, especially yeah. in this regard. And one thing about how our media works here is when there is one big story around it, mm. then you begin to see them pay attention to crops of stories and you realize that, oh, people then think, oh, this is happening so much now. No, it's not happening so much it now. It's just happening. now yeah. they're paying it attention. Happens. That breeze has blown yeah. away and then they are, they are what done. What was the one of, was it right? Princess? Yeah. Did okay. he got... His case went through. Yeah, he's, he's, in, he's, he's, in, he's in jail, he's in jail, jail now. Jailed, yeah. right? okay. But for how okay. long? Well, that's I hope they also get really. rehabilitated in jail if there's something like that for them. It's no, you're yeah, going for a stretch. Rehabilitation right. is a long, long way. But it's important because he'll be released back to society in what, uh, three, four years? Yeah. So what, who, who says he will do that? The point is whether it's really happening, that is the truth, is the real uh, test. But I think that the thing for me that stood out here was also the fact that this is also not a... I mean, it affects the girl child more, mm -hmm. but there are also boy children that are at risk. Of, that absolutely, are this absolutely, as well, and that's so. their own effect. Okay, I'm, I won't go. Into, I won't. I won't be comparing, but mm -hmm. the ripple effect is crazy. It is. It is. It really does have. Um, so it's just for people to be aware that when you think about this, you're not only protecting your girl, girl child, child, but you're thinking about your boy children absolutely. as well. You're thinking about the people that you have in your homes mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. when we were younger, mm -hmm. it was. Um, the familiar people in the houses is the people that you think you know it was always stranger danger but the, the danger is at home so um, really for parents and caretakers guardians anyone really that is in that ecosystem of raising children to be so aware of, um, of what's happening and then make sure they educate the children as well because yeah. children also need to be aware mm. about what sexual exploitation yeah. is and, to, and how to speak up should anything go wrong it's yeah. so so important and it's even sometimes people think the children are too young to understand yeah. But you have to I mean, sex, sex education has its grades. There's something for which a one year old. So uh. you need to start early. Let them understand the parts of their body. Name them yes. correctly. Yes. And then understand when to protect it and report uh. if something unusual is happening or try to trust that to happen, not even when it's happening, uh. you know. So, yeah. Okay. So, what did you find for us in the news, Chinelo? I'll start from you. Yeah. Okay. So, um, one oh. of. Um, Tinobu's, well, would I call him associate? Moisa Kande died, I think, uh, two days ago at the age of 72. Uh, he was a long time associate of the presidential candidate of the APC, Bola Met Tinobu. Mm -hmm. And he was also the brother in law of Tinobu's wife, Senator Loremi Tinobu. Akonde was linked to drug trafficking business in the United States of America along with Bola Met Tinobu. I remember the story that David put out. Mm -hmm. He was a central thinking. character exactly. to that. And it's very funny that two people now that have been linked to this story have dropped. Well, maybe not two, but two that have been linked to, to the Tinobu person himself. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Dropped. So we have Omititi and Dead. now. And the, sto the, um, what's it called? the story behind his death now is not quite clear, Okay. according to what I found in the news. Okay. <sighs> I don't know. I really don't know where all of this is. Well, we'll just say oh, may his soul rest in peace, condolences to the family, and um, we wish them all the best. Elsie, what did you find? Um, so this is away from politics and all that to technology okay. and money. Google has said they will remove all unlicensed Nigerian loan apps from Play Store from um, January 31st. 
Um, this is off the back of most of the reports that uh, many people have made because I know even I in Ubani that a friend of the house has done like an extensive report on loan sharks in Nigeria and this is also not only targeted at Nigerians but Nigeria, Kenya, India, the Philippines and Indonesia. Um, so this is a way for them to mitigate the risk and ensure that um, those on the platform are licensed by for Nigeria for the case of Nigeria that's F CCPC, Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, mm -hmm. and um, I think Digital, digital Money Lenders, um, I don't know, agency. So they have a list of what it requires, and I like that they're doing this now um, because it's becoming a, a nightmare. Mm -hmm. It's now a, I don't know what to call it now but um, mm. I'm hoping that it, it really works. Uh, but well, I trust Google, definitely, if you don't have what they're asking for. I mean, I mean there's certainly a precedent for them to sort of make that place a yeah. little more stringent because mm -hmm. I'm sure at some point, each of, well, I have anyway, received mm -hmm. those messages to I say have. one of your one contacts person. is owing money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and for me, it's not even the messaging. It's the risk. The last one they sent to me, they sent all his details, mm -hmm. BVN name, date guess, of birth, yes. everything. Whoa, everything. I haven't gotten that you side. Literally, picture. Yes. Oh, wow. So you literally could, a fraudster could get hold of this and mm. they could impersonate yeah, this person because yes. every mm. bit of personal information at this person You can take that information to another platform. Yes. Yeah. Um, and they can actually use it. So I sent a very angry message back, of course, to which they never responded. Of course. But even when I, you know, I was reading this earlier in the day, the extent to which some of these companies mm -hmm. go, I saw one where they had said this person has been diagnosed with HIV. Yeah. Take care. So they all sorts of I mean, wow. absolutely solid messages that these guys are putting out there. So this couldn't have actually... I actually like that Google is also <laughs> saying that it's not just about um, loan being your core business. Mm. If you have plugged into a loan app, um, yeah. like a side, a, a secondary product mm. on your app, then you also have to provide... Like a partnership or something yes, like that. So yes, so anything loan, you have to meet the requirements mm. for your app to still be there. So I'm sure everyone will be running up and down to ensure they hit this so get it, exactly. deadline, but it's but very it important. Should hopefully weed quite a few of the very, very erring ones out. So quickly, uh, my story says, pay withheld salaries or risk scuttled academic session, <laughs> ASU warns FG. So we have circled back to ASU. to ASU again. So members of the academic staff union um, of the Olabisi Olabanjo University in Agoiwoyi um, took to the streets calling the federal government to pay the withheld salaries of their counterparts in the federal universities. Um, so again, coming back to it, I love the way that he put it. He said, um, uh, led by the branch chairman, Dr. Joe Lekewali, uh, the institute, the uh, deplored what they described as a brazen show of disdain for education and intelligentsia <laughs> by the federal government. Super. Yes. <laughs> so the fact that, of course, the, 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 the gripe or the issues still remain the same, the no work, no pay. So there, this view that, in fact, what stuck out, stood, um, stood out for me in the story was the fact that um, their ability to strike or their right to strike is now being impeded by the government. And I'm like, so it sounds like you guys want to keep striking. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I know how I feel about this whole striking and ASU. Um, I know I how you feel. You know how I feel. But mm -hmm. um, I won't go there because that's not the topic for today. But basically, it's the same thing. We're still calling for the money. So as much as we would not like it, possibly another strike may be on the horizon. Mm. Yes. I think a lot of people should begin to um, look at BSc opportunities online for foreign universities. Absolutely, that's exactly my point. They will just look elsewhere. It's actually any any employer that is not accepting it is probably not keeping up with the times. Mm, mm. I have I think I mentioned before that I have a niece that mm -hmm. is doing one of such programs and her I think she she's more busy than those you are sending to yeah. to one of the schools to just go there. Mm. Like their classes are hectic. Their attendance is very important. Mm. Their assignments are you know they they're really doing the work. So I I, I think parents should also help their children to look at these opportunities and because this waste of time is not worth it mm. at all. There, there are so many universities offering, offering good education. Let your country, when your country... Well, your education it's sector, I mean, that's, that's uh, universities sad. is only one thing. What would you say for primary schools? What mm. would you say for nursery yeah. schools, secondary schools? We've taken the matter into our own yeah, hands. I feel like for primary that, school, yeah, we have yeah, taken the matter in our hands. I have a lot of you know, schools. Uh, you private know. schools. Um, 
I think universities are a lot more, you know, capital intensive and labor mm -hmm. intensive, and of course the level at which education is happening there. And is even as a parent, you can maybe pay a lot more attention to the primary education to ensure that things are going right, yeah. based on your own knowledge mm -hmm. and also just following the textbook and doing things right if you have that time. Mm -hmm. But university. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, to be fair, in most parts of the world, university is actually a lot of self-study. I mean, NOMA is a way now, and that's the feedback. It's like, it's just read, 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 plenty of textbooks, read, 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 and that's what it is. Hmm. So please, research and, um, and start education, really, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I think we'll take a quick break, and when we'll come back, we'll bring in our guest. Stay with us.